Tonight, Duke Energy crews are still working to get the power back on for some folks. About half a million customers lost power during yesterday's storm across the Carolinas. Right now, Duke Energy is reporting just under 11,000 outages across both North and South Carolina. WCNC Charlotte's Anna King joins us from West Charlotte tonight. So Anna, what is Duke telling you about its efforts? Well, it's good news for customers. Duke Energy officials told me nearly 100% of customers can expect to have their power on by tonight, despite the storm doing a lot of damage. When you have multiple trees taking down multiple poles, you need heavy equipment, sometimes in the pretty inaccessible areas. Uh, but we're working, working our way down the list. Crews with Duke Energy were out all day Wednesday restoring power to customers. We ended up with about 425,000 customers whose power we've already restored. Uh, we are down to the last 20,000 as of about noon today. The ground was soaked, trees came down, and you know, we, we see in a neighborhood like this that, that's just full of trees, uh, it's inevitable you're going to have some sort of damage, and we had that across the state. Bill Norton, the spokesperson with Duke Energy, says around 50,000 of those customers who lost power were in Mecklenburg County. And in neighborhoods like this one with multiple trees, when those strong winds hit, losing power was inevitable. Norton says they were quick to jump into action. They start with the, the biggest outages first. Certainly, you know, emergency services, uh, hospitals, fire, police. If, if that outage is, is happening, we're going to serve them first. He says after that, crews will start serving areas in order of severity. So some customers today say they just had to wait and adjust. Take a while, you know, we have a lot of trees in our neighborhood, so it can be a full day. This is pretty typical. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, I know I got to go find another solution for work at home. Others say they made sure to have a plan B. We have a generator because we used to lose power all the time, but with this storm, we didn't lose power. Trees fall all the time during big storms, so it just makes it easier to not lose power in those moments. Duke Energy says almost 100% of their customers should have power by tonight or early tomorrow. Duke Energy also wants to remind everyone ahead of Friday's storm, be sure to restock on items you may have used yesterday. Keep your devices charged and consider a battery backup. For now, here in Charlotte, Anna King, WCNC Charlotte.